Hello friends, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Carol. I am going to have a lecture today on Harvard Domer Growth Model and what the criticism has been made on Harvard Domer Growth Model. Harvard Domer Growth Model is the part of the classical theory of linear stage growth model. The one part was the Rostow's five stages of growth and the second part of the linear stage growth model is the Harvard Domer growth model. The Harvard Domer growth model basically is criticism on the takeoff stage of Rostow's five stages of growth. The underdeveloped economy can't enter into the takeoff stage of growth until and unless saving rate of national income is not reached between the 15% to 20%. It is also determined that developing economy ought to increase its saving rate in order to become developed one. This endogenous model is a synthesis of two consecutive studies done by British economist Roy F. Harrod in 1939 after Great Depression and an American economist Polish author F. C. Domer in 1946 presented model independently and explained the growth rate in terms of saving and capital output ratio. So what is capital output ratio? The capital output ratio means the unit of capital required to produce one unit of output or one dollar of GDP. So how many machines are required to produce one dollar of GDP? This is basically the capital output ratio. It means the rate of economic growth rate depends on two things, higher saving and lower capital output ratio. So this is the formula of Harold Domer growth model that G means the growth rate and here saving and COR means the capital output ratio. This ratio shows that the more an economy is able to save and invest out of given GDP, the greater the growth of GDP will be. The higher capital output ratio is lower the rate of growth of GDP will be. Uh, in the absence of the government, the economic growth rate is directly proportionate to saving and inversely proportionate to capital output ratio. In order to attain the takeoff stage of development to generate sufficient saving, to generate sufficient investment to accelerate economic growth are principal strategies of economic development. Because more saving leads to more investment and more investment leads to more growth. To replace worn out or impaired capital goods like buildings, equipment and materials, every economy is required to save a certain portion of national income and investment means addition to capital stock or necessary. It is assumed in the context of Harold Domer growth model that in the developing closed economy, labor is available in abundant quantity and can be hired as needed in given proportion to capital investment. Government policies are absent. Planned and actual investments are equal. National savings and investment are in balance. A decrease in capital output ratio is the indication of technological progress. One of the most fundamental strategies of economic growth is simply to increase the proportion of national income savings, as Harold suggested. Suppose capital output ratio in less developed country is 3% and saving ratio is 6% of GDP. What will be the growth rate per year? So by using this formula, so here you can see that the saving rate is 6% and the capital output ratio is 3%. So the growth rate will be 2%. If saving rate increases from 6% to 18%, how much the GDP growth rate can be achieved? By using the same formula, the growth rate will be 6% now because saving has increased. According to Harut Domer growth model that the country needs to increase the sufficient saving in order to become developed one. One of the most fundamental strategy of economic growth is not only to increase the proportion of national income saving but to decrease the capital output ratio by using the same formula. Suppose capital output ratio in less developed country is 6%. And saving ratio is 12% of GDP. What will be the growth rate per year? You can see here the growth rate will be 2%. If capital output ratio decreases to 3%, how much the GDP growth rate can be increased? So capital output ratio decreases to 3%. The saving remains same. So the GDP growth rate will be 4%. So you can see here 
uh, with the decrease in capital output ratio from 6% to 3%, the GDP growth rate has increased from 2% to 4%. So, it means the decrease in capital output ratio increase the growth rate and in saving rate and uh, keeping the capital output ratio constant, the GDP growth rate increases. So, what the criticism has been made on the Herodomer growth model. This model has been criticized on the following grounds. It is hard to save enough for developing country where there is widespread poverty and people strive for getting food. This model is inappropriate for underdeveloped economies because there is lack of investment in underdeveloped economies. This model is based on unrealistic assumptions like propensity to save and invest in capital output ratio can't remain constant in the long run. This model fails to explain not merely the fiscal and monetary measures helping to boost investment and saving but also does not explain the structural changes and innovations taking place in various sectors of the economy. Social, religious, political and other non-economic factors have been ignored in this model. I hope you understand more about Harold Domer growth model. If you have any query or suggestions, please let me know in comment box. Make sure that you have subscribed my channel. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.